My songs are my friends, they comfort me. They often tell just how I feel. They tell the stories of my life. They done me wrongs and they're getting it right. Oh, I love to sing my songs. My songs are a friend to me. And don't you know that songs tame the savage beast? Calm the seven seas. Roll you along or rock you to sleep. Hold your memories, memories. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to session six of the Songwriters uh, series. Uh, I'm your host, Barry Chauvin, and we're here at Digital Sacale Studios in Homer, Louisiana, with Pershing Wells. I'm very happy to introduce our guest today, Miss Nancy Bryant. Polo. And uh, welcome, Nancy. Thanks, Barry. All right. So uh, one of the things we might talk about in this show is how you can get lost in a song <laughs> because uh, y'all got lost coming here. Yeah. And uh, so we'll, uh, but but this is a show, Nancy, where we just want to share what we know about songwriting, uh, at, you know, um, hopefully uh, encourage new songwriters. Yeah. So um, how did you get started? And how long you been writing and all that good stuff? I've been writing songs since I was a kid. I, I really think I wrote my first song, uh, twelve or thirteen. Really, wasn't okay. necessarily very good. Oh yeah, <laughs> but uh, but I have been writing songs ever since I can remember, really. And you thought of yourself as a songwriter? I mean, back way back then, did you think of that? I don't think I thought of myself as yeah. a songwriter. Um, we we had a piano in our house. My mom played uh, piano at the church, okay. and so I had piano lessons as a kid. And and I spent a lot of time sitting at that piano, just pecking around and and uh, finding my way. Did the melodies come first, or some of the lyrics came? My first songs too? come to it comes together. Really, all at, oh, it drops on one. me all at the same time. Does it? And um. And I'll just, uh, I'll jot down ideas. I still use a notebook for songwriting, although I, I do record things with my phone. Right. But but I'll jot things down as they come to me and right. then, you know, go back and, and polish them up and remove some of the extra words because there are usually way too many. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, but I was an English major in college, and I think maybe that helps a little sure. bit. Yeah, um, sure. I read a lot. Yeah. Okay. And and I listen to a lot of music, and my husband and I see live music all the time. So a lot of different genres. Oh, absolutely. I I was raised on country music, gospel music. Uh, my my older brothers and sisters were all teenagers when I was still just a little kid, and so I got a lot of influence from from their records. Sure. Yeah. And and rock and roll and yeah. and all of that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of songwriters, especially beginners, will tell me, "I don't know what to write about." So, where do you get your ideas for your songs? I, I tell stories, and sometimes it's stories about people in my family. I've written songs about my grandfather, my grandmother, and grandfather. I've written songs about uh, uh, a cousin, a paralyzed cousin. I've I've written songs about uh, my parents, but I've also written songs about things that happened to me. Uh, just you know, you might get a song. Things out I today, observe. Getting lost. I might. There might be a song coming out of that. Yeah, country come to town. Right. Is what it should be called. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were telling me about the song you're gonna um, sing today. And, yeah. Uh, so you want to tell everybody uh, how that song came to be? Uh, my husband and I run a business, and we were we were trying to get a little one night away before we hit a busy season last fall, and so we spent one night in this cute little hotel in Bay St. Louis, the Baytown Inn. In fact, right. go there; it's great. And we there was a, a very volatile uh, couple next door, and and they made so much racket all night long. And, and we didn't get much rest at all, but I got a great song out of it. And I had just 
picked this mandolin up last summer and started playing it and and I had it with me that weekend and so I I wrote a couple of really solid songs with it uh, pretty quickly there within a couple of months but but that one the one I'm gonna play for you today was triggered by a really crappy night all right and what's it called <laughs> Room number four. Room number four. All right. Well, I can't wait to hear it, and let's let's hear it. All right. All right. In a boutique hotel. On Mississippi shore Turmoil's brewing Over in room number four Empty bottles outside So you know what's in store And without God's grace That would still be me for sure He knew that loving her will become a chore she's been more trouble than he ever bargained for if she could put that drink down she could be so much more and without God's grace that would still be me for sure Many times she's quit, made that promise to him. Never again, babe, over and over and over she swore to stay or leave her constantly. out now and drinking on the porch and for the last hour and a half banging on the door he lets her in the walls are thin we hear temper sore and without God's grace that would still be me for sure Thanks, Nancy. That I like that song. I like the message of that song, yeah. and uh, I love the the mandolin. Um, that you. that really that mandolin and that song goes together. Oh yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Barry. And, uh, I want to thank the audience out there, and uh, uh, please tune in and subscribe, hitting the button down below, and then hit that little bell icon, and you'll get notifications of the next session. Um, with that, uh, Nance, why don't you play a little bit more of that song and we'll roll the closing credits. All right. She swore to stay or leave her Constantly he's torn And without God's grace That would still be me for 
Still with me